Good morning, welcome to another session of OCD. Welcome to my workshop. Um, product specific video this morning, um, in as much as I'm going to talk about two different products. Um, first one is shampoo, and I've got a bottle of Garage Therapy One Car Shampoo version 2. I didn't buy this, Garage Therapy sent it through to me, but that doesn't uh, protect anybody. I will still give my honest opinion, um, as always. However, there Previous version, version one, in my opinion, was a top, top shampoo. It was certainly my top shampoo. Um, so I've got very high hopes of this. Um, how can you make a top shampoo better? We shall find out. So that's what we're going to use when we wash the car this morning, their version two. Also, when I wash the car, I've got here a Garage Therapy wash mitt, which they very kindly sent through. Again, I didn't pay for this. This was sent through by Garage Therapy. Um, now this isn't the sort of um, a tool that I normally use. If you want to call a, a wash pad a tool, um, it's not the type I, I normally use. I normally use, I've got a mitt here, um, and this one's a, a Paragon mitt. It's about a year, maybe two years old. I don't use it as a mitt, I use it as a pad. That's my preference. Um, and I, <coughs> excuse me, I really like that. That really works for me. Um, but they've sent this one through microfiber. It's got quite long fibers on it, um, as you can see there, quite long fibers. Um, I don't normally use a pad, um, so that'd be interesting this morning. Um, so we'll get, we'll wash the car with that, and I'll give you my my honest version. The other pad that I've got, a microfiber pad. Um, this one is. I've I've used this a few times um, and I and I can't get on with it because it's too thick. And if you see the difference between this and the garage therapy pad, you can see it's it's quite a bit quite a bit thicker. And I feel insecure with this as in as much as I always feel as I'm gonna drop it. Um, so we'll see. That's that's just I just thought I'd show you that as a comparison. I don't normally use that very much, we'll put it over there. So that, that's the pad I normally, or the, the mitt I normally use as a pad, and we use Gary Therapy's pad this morning to give you my view on that. The other thing that Garage Therapy sent through to me, again, I didn't pay for this, they sent it through, was this really nice little microfiber um, wheel mitt. Now, I've got a couple of wheel mitts. I've got uh, this very old one that I use, which is quite nice. It's nice and soft on one side and on the other side it's a little bit coarser it's quite a nice little mitt um it's okay not fantastic and to be honest i very well i never use it on my car i tend to use it on um, other people's cars you keep the best for yourself didn't you um and it's okay it's fine um i tend to use it on um people's wheels that are really really crap i'm not going to put my the one my favorite one on it so i use that so that, that's fine that's not a bad little mitt this one is a lambs wool mitt which i always use this is kept for my cars and and for decent wheels um the issue with this because it's a um, lambs wool mitt it's obviously it's got leather inside um i don't know if you can see that um and that's 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 what you would expect the issue with that is when it gets wet you know what leather's like it gets a bit slippery and because this um, isn't you know it's quite it's quite big because it's meant for people that got hands like shovels people like Paul Dalden um, but dainty people like myself um, it's a bit big um, and it's fine it works perfectly but it does tend to, to come off from time to time and that can be a bit annoying the garish therapy mitt has got two little um, finger pockets in it so you can put your hand in and you've got something your fingers to grab hold of and again it's quite a long um, uh, fiber on it um, so we give that a try this morning so quite good two, two new things a new wash pad that we're going to try out and a new wheel pad a new wheel mitt along with their um, version 2 so Martin stop talking put a coffee on open the doors let's go and look at what we're going to clean this morning Right, so here we are, and in true fashion, it started to drizzle, so no problem, we'll, uh, we'll get through that. As you can see, wheels are quite grubby, so we'll give that a good, good clean. 
and uh, the rest of the car isn't great it's all right it's it's a bit on the grubby side but nothing that we can't handle okay so my normal process so we'll rinse the wheels down um, we'll spray it with um, let's move that out of the way we'll spray it with um, Garotherapy 1 wheel shampoo in a foamer and then I've got Garotherapy 1 wheel shampoo in a solution so that's uh, that's my normal process so we'll get on and do that shall we Got my uh, trusty mop. Oh, that's a pretty grubby wheel, isn't it? Let's give that a rinse before I put it in the bucket. Many people I see on YouTube that don't rinse their wheel brush before they put it back in the bucket, and yet they do a two bucket wash when they wash the car itself, and they would never dream of putting a wash mitt in their wash solution after it's been on the car. They always rinse it, and yet they don't do it with the wheels. What's that about? I mean look how dirty that is. Why do I want to put that in my wash solution? one of the few cars that my my uh, little Chanel mop won't get behind a caliper on Where's a wash mate? Well, it's flexible enough, you can get right behind the, the spokes. You can definitely hold on to it.
and it's quite good because you've got enough sort of control over it you can get your fingers into the into the edges there yeah you can get your fingers in the in the corners which is what I can't do with the uh, with the wall mitt so from from this I would say there's no um, negatives between um, on the wall mitt start again Martin is compared to the wall mitt this hasn't got any negatives only positives I think to be honest I like it and I like the bit that you can get in the corners use your fingers can't do that the other one give it a rinse but you can see I can get right around behind the spokes And yeah, I suppose it, it could come off your hand, but I would have uh, adjusted the wall mitt a few times by now. So I think it's definitely an upgrade to my little wall mitt. Yeah. Please about that. Let's uh, let's clean the wall of the tire. As normal, I'm using uh, tire, uh, Adam's tire and rubber. Still got some left to get rid of to use up. This is uh, GB Detailing Rinse and Protect uh, Mix the solution of that up and I like to put that on the wheels and then just to finish off that will make on the disc stop them tarnishing okay guys so I've got the wash mitt I've got my bucket it says in the bottle to put 20 millilitres of product into four or five gallons of water well I don't as you know I don't normally use a bullshit bucket I've got the best part of two gallons in there so I'll put 10 millilitres of product in and you can see I've already swished it around with my hand and it's come up for me Right, let's see what we think of the foam and the wash pad. It's not too big and cumbersome that you can't get under the door handle, so that's good. Just going to get my rinse bucket.
This shampoo is so slick. I mean, that's 10 millilitres into two gallons. So 20 millilitres into four gallons. That's uh, pretty economical. And look, look, there's plenty of suds. Slick. Can you improve on a good product? Looks like you can. I have to say this is, for me, I feel as though this is a little bit too heavy. Maybe it's because of what I'm used to. Um, I do feel as though I feel I do feel a little bit insecure with it, you know, not as much as that big pad that I've got, but I do feel as though it could I haven't got complete control of it, you know. Is it for me? I'm not sure. I think I need to I need to give it a bit more of a, a try. I don't know whether you follow uh, Mark on um, Sparkling Autos. He's got um, a garage therapy pad as well, and he said something very similar. In as much as um, he wasn't totally sure about it, um, not that it wasn't a good pad, but it, he didn't feel that it was necessarily for him. And I think I feel the same. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is for me, but. Uh, Look how, that's so soapy, that is, look at the soap on that, look. I mean, you know, I've started, I've gone from one end of the car to the other and the soap is still all over it. It's, this is a really good product. Like I said, can you improve on a, on the number one shampoo? Well, yes you can, clearly. Right, I need to, uh, I need to carry on, don't I, and uh, get the rest of this car clean. Eat your heart out, Mark. <laughs> okay, guys, so first things first, we'll meet. Um, an aeroplane comes over. Right, so we'll meet. Really like it. Um, it was secure on my hand, it fits my hand, it gets behind the, the spokes perfectly well, plenty of flexibility. Um, you can use your finger to push into the, the corners of the spokes. 100%. Um, um, definitely going to be my new uh, Wilmot um, going forward. Really, really like it. And the beauty of this is, of course, you can machine wash it as well. So when you do your uh, microfibers you can chuck that in with it so yeah really like it really really pleased with that so big thumbs up to Gary's therapy um, making all this wet right so the wash mitt um, I'm not convinced to be honest um, it's it does a good job it's nice and soft for me it carries a bit too much water makes it quite heavy um, heavy in as much as you're putting a lot of weight when you're doing a contact wash 
Um, I think it's something that I need to persevere with and get used to. Um, it's definitely good quality, it does a good job, but it's just a little bit, when it's full of water, um, maybe that's because perhaps I need to wring it out a bit more. You know, that might be, might be the way I'm using it. Um, uh, I don't, it doesn't feel as insecure as the big pad that I've got, but it doesn't feel as secure as the mitt that I, um, or the, the pad that I normally use. So this one over here, this I feel as though I'm in control of it, um, as though I'm not going to drop it. I'm not as confident with this, but I've only used it once. So I'm going to persevere with this, um, but do I recommend it? Not at the moment. I need to. I need to. I need to use it some more. Um, I think it's something because it's a. It's it's totally different. It's something I need to get used to. Maybe I don't know. Um, but uh, nothing wrong with the quality. Perfectly good quality. It's just that I'm not sure it's it's the right fit for me. But we'll see going forward. So that's that's the mitt. Um, what can I say? Gary's therapy one car shampoo version 2 you saw for yourself how much uh, I mean I put um, 10 millilitres into two gallons of water um, and the, 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 the soap just stayed on the car I mean it was this is really good stuff um, top top product I've only got one problem with it um, I've got a bloody gallon of version 1 sat up on the shelf but otherwise absolutely typical garage therapy raises the bar with their one shampoo and then they raise it again with version two um, brilliant absolutely top quality product so there we go i hope that's been of use to you um will mitt 100 percent um i'll give the wash mitt 80 70 or 80 percent and and maybe that's because of me i don't know um and that's got at least I mean, 100% fantastic. So, until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye.